Welcome back high atop Bobby Bowden Field at Doak Campbell Stadium, where this Saturday the fourth-ranked Florida State Seminoles will welcome in their second opponent of the season, the Charleston Southern Buccaneers. Seminoles coming off of an impressive 34-0 win this past Saturday over the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks, and the Knolls looking for their second straight shutout for the first time since 1980, a 31-year span. But the Seminoles know it won't be an easy task. It's football. You never know what can happen. And like I say, just respect your opponent. Like Coach Fisher said, you want, you got to respect your opponent. And how you do that? By giving them your best, playing football. It's very important. We we have to focus because if we if we don't focus on this team, then it's a loss. A loss is a loss. We don't we don't want to lose and take any team too lightly. And we we're just gonna have to focus even more week in and week out. We got to take it each game, one game at a time. Nobody likes to be disrespected, and, and especially when you. I know with us last year, uh, when we lost to Oklahoma, we came out the next week pretty amped up, and we felt disrespected. So when you're playing against a team and you know they feel that way, uh, you got to give them your, your best um, 100%, because uh, they're definitely going to come out ready to play. Uh, ever since I've been up here, he always talked to us about taking in one game at a time. And um, as a team, we do a great job just focusing on that opponent for this week. Uh, we're not looking ahead to nobody else. We're just trying to focus on this team and come out with a win. While the offense scored 34 points last week in the win over Louisiana Monroe, they want to see more consistency. And that comes from head coach Jimbo Fisher as well as E.J. Manuel, who says that he is his own harshest critic. Extremely true. Um, my family knows that the best. You know, my own worst critic. Uh, I always, you know, had constructive criticism from my my dad growing up. So I kind of learned to, you know, coach myself when I was younger. Anyways, but I always had that about myself. And um, you know, obviously, I'm going to be my own worst critic. You know, because I know, well, I feel like I can make every single throw out there. You know, and I, I'm not that I don't feel like I'm perfect or anything like that. But you know, I always want to strive for that. You know, what I mean, and when I don't reach it, you know, I get upset at myself. But just try to, you know, fix it and move on. E EJ's a perfectionist, but I was a lot happier with him than he said he thinks of himself. He wants to be perfect. And I said, you know, hey, you only had about four or five plays in there that were not like we wanted. Made some nice throws. We made a great back shoulder throw to Burton. Burton made a great catch on a third and 15 down there in one of the drives. I was very pleased with. The read he got to get to there was really good. I mean, really good. And uh, showed me really understanding what we're doing. So there's a lot to work on, but I was very pleased with the first game. We're now joined once again by Seminoles.com senior writer Brandon Meller. And Brandon, I think it's very difficult for anyone, including the fans, to not look past Charleston Southern and looking at that number one matchup between Oklahoma and Florida State under the lights next week at Doe Campbell Stadium. From your interactions with members of this team and coaching staff this week, what's your impression of that? Well, I mean, you said it. The, the big game is next weekend. It's not this weekend. Uh, but people, unfortunately, kind of overlook Charleston Southern. And, and the coaches and the players here at Florida State are not doing that same thing. It's all about respect for these guys. And uh, Coach Fisher said it best. He said, our, the best way we can respect them is by going and playing our game, playing what we doing what we do, uh, going out there and treating them like, like they're number one. And, and that's the best thing they can do. That's the best thing the fans can do, come out and support them no matter who FC is playing. Brandon, we talked about it in our Seminoles.com Doke Insider recap over the weekend in our podcast about, you know, this is a Charleston Southern team last week that lost 62 nothing to UCF. And Is there going to be some concern or talk amongst the fans if Florida State doesn't come out and put up a similar number? Yeah, I think so. I think people expect FSU to come out and to at least match that, if not do better than what UCF did. Uh, but again, we've, we've said it. It's all about what this team does to show its improvement and that it's ready for no, number one Oklahoma next weekend. So, so watch what these guys do individually and as a team. Watch what they do on the field if they show improvements from the week before and don't follow the scoreboard so much. Follow what these guys do as far as, you know, is the running game showing improvement? Is the defense building off what it did last week? Is EJ Manuel, uh, you know, showing more consistency? That's the big thing to watch this weekend. Make sure you tune in to Seminoles.com after the game. Brandon Miller's full post-game recap will be online immediately following the game as well as all of our highlights. If you didn't check those out last week, they are very, very impressive. We've got the call of Gene Deckerhoff and William Floyd under our highlights as well. Scott Kodak and Lane Hurt will be down with the players for live post-game reaction on Seminoles.com. Throughout the game, you can follow. We've got multiple options that you can interact with our staff here at Seminoles.com. We have a live chat. We have Twitter interaction. We also have Facebook feeds throughout the game that will be going on. If you haven't gotten your tickets left, still some good news. We have some tickets available for this weekend's game, but they're moving fast. It is Youth Day, so all youth tickets start at $12. It's a great opportunity to bring a, you know family out here to Doe Campbell Stadium. The weather should be gorgeous this Saturday night. 6 o'clock kickoff time on ESPN3. That's it for now from Doe Campbell Stadium. We'll see you back here on Saturday, Florida State and Charleston Southern. For Seminoles.com, I'm Ryan Pincy.